and we're live. All right, Shalom, I'm first and foremost, morning, the morning, give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to the elect. Uh, we are the brothers of Great Millstone, Miami, and uh, hey, this lesson, this live stream is going to be going into the kingdom of heaven, okay, the title, I should say it all, New Jerusalem, okay, because ultimately that's what we're fighting for. Okay, in the midst of all the turmoil that's going on in the earth, okay, all the judgments going out, all the afflictions that we suffer, okay, um, and everything that comes with this truth, everything that comes with this walk of faith, you know, going through the furnace of affliction, we have to understand and know and, um, you know, really come to uh, the conclusion within ourselves, all right, that we're going through all of this for a kingdom, okay, for a crown, okay, all right. I'm sure we do talk about death and destruction and the prophecies and the different things that's getting ready to take place in the earth, which is, hey, that's facts. As scriptures say, man, uh, the spirit of the Lord is the spirit of prophecy, okay? Um, and it's scripture say, well, prophesy unto my people in 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter, all right? But it's all for the sake of what? The kingdom of heaven being established upon the earth, okay? How is Shai coming, all right, establishing his, his kingdom upon the earth, overthrowing the kingdoms of this world, and establishing the kingdom of the heavenly father, all right, upon the earth, okay, the throne of David, okay, Mount Zion being on top, the elect, all right, that governing body, okay, all right, uh, ruling over the face of the earth, okay, and establishing righteousness in the earth, man, no more uh, pedophiles, we, got, we had a conversation about fucking pedophiles, man, all right, Je Jeffrey Epstein and, and stuff like that going, no more of that in the earth, man, all right, no more Esau ruling the earth with violence and tyranny, okay, all right, and then pointing the finger at everybody else. No more idolatry and witchcraft and, and corruption uh, polluting the earth. Okay, the earth is defiled underneath the inhabitants thereof. Okay, and, and you know, of course, you know, uh, one, one of the greatest blessings, you know, being in rulership as a people are having immortality and not sinning anymore. Okay, that's the gift that we have through Yahweh Bashim Yahushua according to his ten of graces and mercies and according to his will. Okay, and that's what we're ultimately fighting for. So if yeah, somebody can open up with uh, Revelation, somebody has to have Revelation. And then, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Revelation 21, verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Right. Okay, the Lord, the scriptures say what? John, okay, because it's John the Revelator. All right, he's seen, a, he's seen various different visions that the Lord is re revealing unto him. Okay, and he sees what? A new heaven and a new, and a new earth. Does that mean that the, the whole planet Earth, the globe, if you will, will be destroyed or de dematerialized? No, okay? It's talking about a new rulership, a new... Uh, the, the Earth is going to be renewed after this destruction. That's right. Okay? All right? After the overturning, the overthrowing of Babylon the Great, the kingdom of the Edomites. Okay? All right? After World War III, after Armageddon, okay, the Lord is going to renew the Earth. The Earth is going to be refreshed. Okay? All right? The Earth is going to be... Free of, of these corrupt rulers ruling over it. Okay, sure. a new government. Okay, a new way of life. <coughs> okay, that is what John is seeing. That's right. Okay, and it's for the purpose of what the Lord comforting and fulfilling his promise to the Israelites because the dominion of the earth was given to the nation of Israel. That's right. Okay, all right, go ahead with uh, Revelation. I got that word new. New? Okay, bring it out. Uh, uh, Kino? Kino. Kino. Uh, uh, it says new as respect. Uh, as respects form recently made fresh made fresh to make fresh okay to freshen up the earth needs a freshening up okay from all the violence from all the bloodshed from all the war from all the pollution okay all the foundations of the earth are out of course all right say if the scriptures man all right the, the, the whole this whole system of this world is turned upside down all right you have creatures uh, moving uh, uh being removed out of their places okay all right, the, the whole system, the whole structure, the order of the earth is out of course, man. Okay, all right, you have the basis of men ruling, which that's according to the will of the Heavenly Father. Okay, you have pollution in the sea. All right, the households are out of order. Okay, nations don't know who they are. All right, amongst many other things, man. And so that's why the Lord needs to come back and renew the earth according to its proper order. All right, as it was intended to be from the beginning. Right, it says, uh, recently made fresh. Recent, unused, unworn, as respects substance of a new kind, unprecedented, novel, uncommon, unheard of. Right, a, a new kind. Okay, mm -hmm. which a hey, that that's beautiful because we know, uh, you know, we we discern through prophecy. All right, that after this destruction, all right, when the Lord comes back to Earth, 
even the, the shape of the continents, even the shape of the land masses and the borders of the earth are going to change. Okay, all right, because of the, the heavy shaking of the earth to and fro as a drunkard. All right, islands and mountains shall be removed out of their places. Okay, all right, unprecedented, unseen, as the scriptures say, what in, um, I want to say, it's not in Isaiah. All right, I have not seen, neither ear hath heard, neither hath it entered into the hearts of men, but the Lord hath prepared for them that love him. Okay, right. all right, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. It. That's okay, you can't even so much as describe it. describe it. You have to call it an it. Okay, all right. Just so, <laughs> hey, let your let your imagination go. Right. All right. And that's that's basically what that what that is. Um, you know, um, implying. Okay. So you can uh, continue to read with Revelation twenty one. So Revelation twenty one. I start at one again. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I John saw the holy city. New Jerusalem coming down from the most high out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Right. And is that New Jerusalem, is it literally, uh, you know, a, a constructed city with buildings coming down from the sky? No, as, as the scriptures say, it's going to explain it. OK, it's actually talking about a people. All right. Who represent this Jerusalem. OK. All right. Like it says in what Galatians, I want to say it's the fourth chapter. Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Okay, our conversation, our citizenship is in the heavens. All right, so what that des what's that describing is what the, the the elect coming off of the chariots in new bodies. Okay, bodies that are meant to last forever, immortal bodies. Okay, all right, to inherit the earth. Okay, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Uh, the elect are going to have what the new covenant written in their inward parts. They'll never sin anymore. Okay, and as a nation, ultimately the Israelites will never sin anymore. That is New Jerusalem. Okay, because old Jerusalem, all right, when we were in our homeland, what we we defiled the commandments of the Lord, we defiled the land. Okay, we departed from the ordinances of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, all right, and so the Lord had to break us down. Jerusalem is ruined, and, and, and Judah is falling because their works and their doings are against the Lord to provoke the eyes of His glory. Okay, so the Lord had to undo us. He had to break us down. Okay. All right, and scatter us among the nations. But now the Lord is what? Renewing his covenant, his agreement with the house of Israel and the house of Judah through Yehoshai. Okay, through the sacrifice of Yehoshai, we're being brought into that new covenant so that we could be made, we can be made new. Okay, so that we could be given a new heart and a new spirit. Okay, so that we could have a new covenant, the new covenant written in our inward parts to where we never sin anymore. Okay, all right, and we'll have an endless, unbreakable, perpetual kingdom to, to have dominion over the whole entire planet Earth. Okay, and righteousness and peace and judgment and truth. Okay, right, and like the definition kind of that's spot on because mm -hmm. we can't even fathom what an immortal man looks like. No, there's I never been an immortal man outside of Yahweh that walked the earth, you know. But he was he died in the flesh, right? Yeah, he died and then he rose again, right? So we don't have a clue. That's why I said I have not seen. Right. No, yeah, I've heard. We don't even know what an immortal man looks like. Right, right. which the scriptures say, uh, we 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 know, we not, know not. Right, right. we know we not what we shall be. Mm -hmm. Yep. But when he appears, we're gonna be as he is. Calm. You know. And That's I got a precept on um, Isaiah sixty-two and five. Yeah. For as a young man marrieth a virgin, so shall thy sons marry thee. And as the bridegroom rejoiceth over the bride, so shall thy God rejoice over thee. So that's what's going on. The Lord is waking up his elect right now, man. Getting ready to beam them up to be married with him. You know, give us new bodies so we could be joined into him forever. Never sinning. And he's going to be our God. He's going to dwell with us forever. As it says in Revelation 21, verse 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying. Could you read the second verse again? Come. It says, and I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the most high out of heaven. Prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Being what? Mar married unto the Lord. Okay. For I am married unto you and I will take you what? One of a city and two of a, of a family and I will bring you unto Zion. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I will I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. All right. They broke my old, my old covenant, although I was an husband unto them. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So being in those new bodies, we're going to be what? Joined unto the Lord because that's what the word marry means. It means mm -hmm. to join. Okay, to be attached. Mm -hmm. All right, and why is that? Because these bodies, these bodies will be immortal bodies that are not subject to sin. Okay, moral corruption, evil. All right, 
and be, and because of that, the Spirit of the Lord is going to be able to dwell within us, okay, mm -hmm. without in hindrance. Mm -hmm. Hey, just to tell you in Isaiah, I want to say it's the 59th chapter, it says, What your sins have separated between you and your God and, and your iniquities, okay? All right, so, hey, because of that new covenant, we're going to be joined with the Lord forever. The Spirit of the Lord is actually going to be upon Israel mightily, and all the heathens and the nations are, are going to see that, okay? Right. Verse 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, and he will dwell with them. He will dwell with them. The tabernacle. What is a ta tabernacle? A house. A house. Dwelling. A dwelling place. Mm -hmm. Okay, and our our bodies are 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 our temples of the Lord. The scriptures tell you we are the temple. Okay, all right. So it's not going to be a need for you know a, a you know a physical temple where all Israel has to gather and to to be there to physically connect with the Lord and all of that. No, okay. We're going to be the vessels where in the spirit the Harachakodash of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is going to emanate. Through us, okay, resonate through us. We're going to be able to fully channel the spirit of the Lord. Therefore, what the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, right. <laughs> okay. And then what's the tabernacle associated with? With the priesthood, mm -hmm. okay. All right, the priesthood. All right, the, it, the whole nation is going to be a nation of what kings mm -hmm. and priests. Yeah, that's right. A kingdom of priests, a holy nation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel. That's why it's called New Jerusalem. Okay, this is only in, for the Israelites. That's right. Okay, it's exclusively. Okay, so it says, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. They shall be his people, right? <laughs> that's that's uh, Hebrews 8. Mm -hmm. All right, yep. I, will, I will be God, their God, and they shall be my people, right? Mm -hmm. And the Most High Himself shall be with them and be their God. Mm -hmm. And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. God, God, yep. So no more death for the Israelites. We're not going to die. Okay? So even there, there are individuals... Okay, in Israel that have some explaining to do concerning that verse. It says, there shall be no more death. Okay, no, neither sor sorrow, neither any more pain, for the former troubles are passed away. Okay, and, and, and again, this all folds into the concept of what an immortal kingdom. How do you take, how does a kingdom end when the rulers are immortal? immortal? Right. You can't kill them. They are not subject to corruption. Right. Okay, or well, the scriptures say what? Uh, because of uh, unrighteous dealings and, king, and, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. But we're not going to be subject to that. That's the reason why we went down the first time. Why? Because of unrighteous dealings of the house of Judah and the house of Israel. Okay? Of the kings of Judah and the kings of Israel, the judges and the priests. Okay? And the, all the people of the land departed from the Lord. And what? Because of unrighteous dealings and riches got by deceit, the kingdom was translated from one people to another, then another, then another. Here we are, <laughs> you know, right. in the yeah. process of time. But that's not going to be a problem in the kingdom for us. Right, because that's not a kingly mind state. When, you, when you're in a, a kingly mind state, your main uh, objective is to look out for the, the constituents, the people, the citizens, you see? But you as the king and the higher ups you're doing unrighteous dealings no you're not fit to rule mm -hmm. let me take that and give it to another people and that's what the Lord did throughout history he set it up for us to rule he didn't want to rule in righteousness so he gave it to the basis of men mm -hmm. God I just want to uh, back up about the, the tabernacle you know that the, the Lord be dwelling okay with us uh, this is in the law the Levitical law Leviticus chapter 26 I'm just going to get to the point, verse 11. And I will set my tabernacle among you, and my soul shall not abhor you. 12. And I will walk among you, and will be your power, and ye shall be my people. So this is directly, exclusively for the children of Israel. Okay? Now, the Lord's going to be with us, <coughs> within us. All right? So, okay? And that's the blessing will be immortal. All right? Because the Lord is with us. Just want to bring that out. Mm -hmm. Awesome. This book of uh, Ezekiel chapter 34 and verse 31, it says, And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men, 
and I will be your power, says the Lord Yahweh. So the Lord, just starting with the men, that's who the Lord is dealing with, you know, first and foremost. You know, starting with Apostle Elder Great Millstone, which is, which is going to go down to the 144,000, man. All right, and, and that's who the Lord is dealing with, you know. Come on, come on. Anybody got a precept? Isaiah 65, verse 17. Mm -hmm. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. So this is for Israel, because Isaiah was prophesying <laughs> on, on the behalf, you know, for Israel right there, man. Yep. You know, so what was done, you know, in the New Testament, which is just like Elder Yashmah just broke down, it's all the same. It's just new, a new covenant. It's still for Israel, man. That new heavens and new earth was promising to the Israelites, man. That's right. Which we're going to rule, man. You know, mm -hmm. verse 18, but be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing, and her people a joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem, and joy in my people. And the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. Right. <coughs> so no more weeping, no more crying, no more funerals. Literally, no more death amongst Israel, man. That's you know, No more <laughs> putting Jake on t-shirts, they just got shot. A drive-by in death and in AIDS and STDs amongst our people. What we're preaching is the true gospel. It, it, it says good news. Mm -hmm. So we talk about destruction that has to happen upon Esau and Edom, the nations. The, the, the Lord is going to sh shake the earth. It's going to reel to and fro like a drunkard. Nuclear missiles are going to be shot. But it's for this to happen, man. Right, yep. So yeah, I was shocked to set up a, re a, a real life <laughs> utopia. Right. You know? In which Israel's going to be on top. That's right. Right. And, and that shows the balance of the Heavenly Father. Because the scriptures tell you, full of lamentation, mourning, and woe. Mm -hmm. But what about, you know, the everlasting life? What about the gospel? The good news? You know, all, all of these things have to happen for that to happen. Why? Because the Heavenly Father declared the end from the beginning. The good news is so good. <coughs> how, how beautiful are the feet of them? Who preach this good news, man? We talking about everlasting life, immortality. Mm -hmm. You know, what you got it, bro. It's uh, verse twenty. There shall be no more dents an infant of days, nor an old man that hath not filled his days. For the child shall die a hundred years old, but the sinner being a hundred years old shall be accursed. Right, which is basically poetic language for how long <coughs> how long you're gonna live. A hundred years old is gonna still be considered a child. You know what I'm saying so it, it's gonna be a more immortal life, man. Yep. Okay, immortal immortality. <clears throat> hey, that's a hey, um, hey that, that's something that goes back to the to the beginning, man. In the book of Genesis, it tells you lest they should uh, take their hands and reach unto the tree of life, okay, and live forever, man. All right, but the book of Revelation says, a uh, hey, blessed are they who are able to enter into the gate into the city and have right to the tree of life, okay. All right, so a hey, a. Hey, it, the Israelites are going to live forever, man. We're going to live forever, and we're going to be able to enjoy the earth and the creation for all eternity, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's right. All right, so there's going to be no more death, no more sorrow, man. <laughs> all right, amongst our people, which are people. Cool. <laughs> it's going to tell you what Judah mourneth, and the, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground, and the cry of Jerusalem goeth up, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? Jake is always in a poor, low estate, fucked up. Okay? Which, A, it's, it's, again, this is all the curses, man. This is all the punishment of our iniquities. According to the book of Deuteronomy 28, man. Okay. It's uh, verse 21. And they shall build houses and inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people. And my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. There you go, man. So we're going to be able to enjoy... <laughs> The fruit of our labors, man. Okay, not always building for somebody else, working for somebody else. Okay, everybody else benefiting off of us, man. Mm -hmm. The scriptures tell, tell uh, say in uh, Songs of Solomon, chapter one. Okay, uh, somebody get Songs of Solomon, chapter one. My own vineyard have I not kept. Son of Solomon, chapter 1. Um, 
um, verse six. Yeah, verse six. Look not upon me because I am black, because the sun has looked upon me. <laughs> my mother's children are angry with me. They made me the keeper of the vineyards, but my own vineyard have I not kept. Right, my own vineyard have I have I not kept, man. All right, which Esau, all right, our mother's children, okay, which because Esau and Jacob come from the same uh, loins and womb of Isaac, man, okay, all right, and we have been exploited, we have been put on the bottom, okay, all right, and not able to even, you know, enjoy the fruit of our labor. We've been up their kingdom and their society, keeping their vineyards, man. All right, Jake is always working, always, always in every field doing the, the most hardest menial labor, and Esau gets to enjoy it and just sit back and do very little work, man. Okay, while he, while Jacob is the one doing the heavy lifting, all right, doing doing all the the, the hard stuff, man. Okay, and that's not just Esau in general, even with the heathen nations, man. So say what? Who have not gotten of our spoils, man? Okay, but according to the book of Isaiah sixty-five, all right, they shall not. Build in another inhabit. They shall not plant in another eat. Okay, all right. But but they shall eat the fruit of their labors. They'll be they'll be able to enjoy, man. Okay, and that's what it's about. We're gonna be able to enjoy the kingdom of heaven. That's why it's in, in the earth, man. That's why it's important for us to stay in this truth. Okay, to to make sure we doing the right things before you have a bashim now shy, because that's what it's ultimately about. Okay, that's what it's ultimately about. The kingdom of heaven. Okay. We want to make it. We want to make it on the first go round at that. Okay. That's right. All right. Because the scriptures say that what we we are profitable service. You know what I'm saying? We go out teach on the highways and hedges. And you know some brothers got to leave camp to go to work. You know what I'm saying? Go deal with a wicked woman or whatever the case may be. You know. But although we are profitable servants, we're doing this for a prize, and that prize is the kingdom of heaven. You see. Mm -hmm. God, God is a love. It's mm -hmm. the reward us for our faith if we keep it and hold it fast to the end. That's right. Because that, that's what makes us righteous before faith. His eyes. Mm -hmm. Holding that faith and believing in the kingdom, believing in His words, you know? Believing in, in what we can't see. The Lord will reward you for that because that's ultimately what we're doing. We're showing our faith. You know, we, we go off in this flesh. We're still in this world. <coughs> you know, we got to work and do different things, and you know? Mm -hmm. But our faith. By holding that in the fear of Yahweh Shai, you will get rewarded for that. That's right. 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 Uh, I got some. You got more on that? Yeah, Isaiah. there's two more verses. It's Isaiah 65, verse 23. It shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble. Hey, that's big, man. Laboring in vain, bringing forth for trouble, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Sweat, sweat of your brows, working hard as fuck, and not making shit out of it, man. Right. Okay. Yep. Not Don't got nothing to show for it. Nothing. Take one step forward, ten steps backward. Okay? All the time. Bag, bag full of holes, man. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store, man. Curse shall thou be when thou goest in. Curse shall thou be when thou goest out. Mm -hmm. You know? No more of that. That's major. Right. Okay? That's major. Because that's been the story of our nation for the longest, man. Okay? Going in Egypt. Built it up. On the bottom. Yep. Left Egypt and Canaan, built it up, went off in captivity to the nations round about us. All right, All right. Mm -hmm. repented. The Lord set up King Saul, then King David, then King Solomon. It was good for a little bit. Yep. Went right off. He, the nations, got in slavery. Mm -hmm. ba Assyria, Babylon, America. Persia, yeah. Greece, Rome, yep. and then some after that yep. and in between. <laughs> Stuff we don't even know about, like, just going to say we were captive in, to all nations, man. Let away captive into all nations, man. Yeah. It's Israelites that was subject to Japheth, dumbass. Yep. <laughs> okay? Yeah. And Ammon and, 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 and Moab and Elam and, you know what I'm saying? The deep interiors of Africa. Just on the bottom, man. What nation hath not got of our, our spoils? Rome. Okay? Even after the fall of Rome. And then here it is in America. <laughs> and even before... America, Babylon the Great. Mm -hmm. All right, the French rose up, the Spanish rose up, the, the, the Portuguese Edomites rose up, the, the Dutch, the British Edomites rose up, put foot in our ass and put us on the bottom. Okay? All the way up until this day, man. Till this day. Okay? Till this day. <laughs> Real talk. Ishmael got the stores. Yeah, Ishmael. Yeah. Yeah, Ishmael, you know. 
He got the stores. You feel me? He, they, the heathens in our na neighborhood. Moab. Moab. Chinese restaurants. Yeah. yeah. Still on the top of us, man. Yep. Still on the top of us, man. Yep. Okay? But that's, see, that's what happens when you disobey, man. That's right. Okay? That's why it's important to have this faith and the fear of the Lord and this obedience, man. Okay? And, and, and seek the Lord, man. All right? Because Yahweh Shah, he sacrificed for our sins so that we can inherit this kingdom, man. That's right. Okay? It says, for they are the seed of the blessed of Yahweh and their offspring with them. Right. They are the seed of the blessed of the, the seed of the blessed of the Lord, man. Mm. Okay. The which seed. that word seed goes back to sperm, semen. Mm. Okay. Which, hey, the lineage passes through the male, man. Okay. All right. right. That's why it's good to say what Adam <coughs> had Seth, a son after his own image, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. The lineage goes from Adam through all the way down to Noah through the men. Okay? Then Noah had Shem, Ham, and Japhet. Okay? And they had sons, and the nations that came out of their sons, those nations still bear the, the names of their forefathers, man. Alright? That's why Egypt is named after Matazarium, man. Okay? The son of Ham. Canaan, Put. Alright? Cush, Shem, had Arphaxad, and Elam, and Ashur. All of these are men. Okay, all the way down to what to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel, who had twelve sons, who made who fathered the twelve tribes of the children of Israel, man. Okay? The seed of the blessed of the Lord, not seeds of many, but as of one, man. Saith the Lord, man. And and the nations are gonna acknowledge that, man. That these are the, the people of the Lord, man. They're not going to be hidden anymore, man. That's right. It's going to say what? They have exalted themselves above thy hidden ones. Mm -hmm. We're hidden. Why? Okay, because we fell away from our nationality. Okay? All right? The, the, the covering of, of the faces of the judges thereof, being mingled among the heathens. There are Israelites on earth that don't even know the Israelites. Okay? There are Israelites on earth that look like the heathen nations, the hidden ones. That's why it's called the book of Revelation, the apocalypse, the, re the great revealing. Okay, the covering cast, move the covering cast from all people and the veil over the faces of all nations, man. The mystery of the Gentiles. The mystery of the Gentiles, the mystery of the gospel. Why is that? It wouldn't be much of a mystery if they were natural heathens. It wouldn't be much of a mystery. Mm -hmm. It's a mystery because these are Israelites who fell away and became like the heathen round about them. Right. So you have to discern, okay? They've been assimilated amongst their enemies, and so they think, act, and sometimes even look like the people who conquered them. Mm -hmm. And even their conquerors, it's gotten to the point where even their conquerors don't even recognize it. That's how bad it is. Yeah. That's how far we've fallen, okay? But in the kingdom of heaven, we will be acknowledged as the seed of the blessed of the Lord. Yeah. Okay, it's going to be a clear distinction because the Lord said, Thou art in holy, a separate people unto me above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Yep. And those heathens are going to see an immortal man. Yes. With a rod of iron in his hand and joint heirs with our Lord Yahweh Shah. That's right. The King of kings and the Lord of lords. They're going to see that. They, you're going to be able to tell that we, we are with <coughs> him. Okay, we're joint heirs with him. You know, and just the sight of that is going to be intimidating. You see? But like the cap saying, you know, we fell from that grace. We fell from that stature, okay, because of our disobedience. But it's going to be renewed, you see? That's why it says the new Jerusalem, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Last verse, this is verse 24. It shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. Mm -hmm. While they are yet speaking, I will hear. Yep. Hey, while they are yet speaking. So the connection that we're going to have with Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh is going to be so intimate. And, and right. hey, as soon as we pray and have a desire, we, it's going to happen. Okay? All right? Because, hey, it's, it's the kingdom. Right. Okay? All right? This is the kingdom. Blessed shalt thou be when thou goest in. Blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. Blessed shalt thou be in all the work of thy hands. Mm -hmm. You're going to be blessed here, blessed here, and blessed there, you know, round about. <laughs> That promise is going to be fulfilled. Okay. You got, who got, you got some comments? Deuteronomy 28. Uh, blessings. Yeah, go ahead. Deuteronomy 28 and 1. And it shall come to pass, and thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of Yahweh thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day. 
that Yahweh thy father will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. That's right. Mm -hmm. So all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy father. Blessed shalt thou be in the city. And blessed shalt thou be in the field. Blessed shall, blessed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy ground. Yep, break it down. Break it down as you go. So we're going to be blessed on, on everything Everything we do. Sure. We're going to be blessed, you know? And it said, blessed of thy body. Mm -hmm. You know, so it, it, it more of a body, man. Right, the, right, and it says, with the fruit of your body, so your children. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. Okay? They're going to be blessed. All right? <clears throat> They're going to have fortune. Just be born into wealth. That's right. Okay? Mm -hmm. True inheritance. True inheritance, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Actually being able to do something. You know, Jake, because you know, Jake, hella creative, even in captivity, all this shit invented by us anyway, man. Yeah, right. So imagine being immortal, okay? Not having fucking GMO particles floating around your brain, man. <laughs> okay? Not having filthiness, filthiness and wicked thoughts that you have to battle. That's right. Okay? Not having no fluoride and then you gotta wake up to an, an alarm clock and you have to rush, okay? <laughs> And breathe in polluted air. Ah, okay? Sucks, All these wicked vibrations in the air from the music, the technology, none of that affecting yeah. us anymore. Okay? Right. All right? Having servants doing all the menial labor, labor and shit. Okay? You know how how, how expand your mind going to be? Ex come on, man. No worry. No worry. Now you, now you can really get down. You feel me? I want to invent this. I want right. to do this venture. You feel me? I want to build this city. I want to start this platform and this big business and this innovation of, you know, you know, angelic technology. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then you just passing it down to your kids. I want to use this type of fabric, some fabric nobody ever heard of. Yep. Some type of metal, you know, nobody ever heard of. Some type of food recipe. Brothers like to cook. You got a restaurant somewhere. You know, a chain restaurant, you know, and it's all righteous food. Uh, it closed on the Sabbath day. I, uh, yep, yep, <laughs> they keep the high holidays, you know. Yep, yep. <laughs> and your children born into that. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, we got a lot. We have a lot to look forward to, man. Don't get disenchanted by this truth, man. It don't. That, that shit, that's wicked, man. That's very wicked. Very wicked. Very wicked. Okay. We have to expand, which I said this, but I didn't say this before. We have to really expand our mind, man. Okay? Take a moment to breathe and listen to birds chirp sometimes. Yeah, yeah, Damn. Because yeah. this shit in Babylon the Great is the oppressing city. Okay? Oppress means to press down. To press upon. It's not just your body, it's your mind too. Yeah. Okay? Got more? Come on. That shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kin. That shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of the ground, and the, and the increase of thy cattle. We're going to have actual riches. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? And there's plenty of cattle. Yeah. All right. We know, you know, long the, the long, the cow, the black and white. Yeah. You feel me? What about the yak, and the bison, and the buffalo? Shit you see in Asia with the horns like yeah big ass horns like the big ass cows that muscular you know what I'm saying yeah what about all that what about the moose and the reindeer and the antelope and the gazelle and the yeah. giraffe yeah. and the wildebeest what about that what about the wildebeest mm -hmm. now it's not gonna just be something that you see in the zoo or on moving art or on planet Earth documentary yeah. it's gonna be yeah. actually yeah. on your plot of land which is yeah. hundreds. If not thousands of acres wide. Water buffalo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or more. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Floating on a cloud. <laughs> Which is actually a chariot. Yeah, yeah. Made of gold. <laughs> it's like, like stuff like that. Eating actual grass like they're supposed to as save the scripture <laughs> instead of GMO fucking corn. Yeah. yeah. Come on, man. Because they chew the cud. This is why we gotta get the fuck out of here, man. It's just some bullshit, man. 
This shit sucks, man, but it, hey, it's the punishment, man. It's, it's yeah. supposed to encourage you to keep going. Okay? To seek the Lord ten times more, for he that brought these plagues upon you shall bring you again with the joy of your salvation. That's right. So we can escape thermonuclear missile fire and come down and establish righteousness on the earth. New Jerusalem. New Jerusalem, not old. Jake always want the new thing. You like new stuff, the new shoes and the new phone and the new... We don't really see new for real. Huh. <laughs> okay? Go ahead. And the flocks of thy sheep, blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. And how shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smiting before thy face? All right, so no more nations rising up against us. No more war. No more war. Mm -hmm. Okay. No more, no more of that, man. Blessed in everything we do. Right. Okay, keep going. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. Uh huh. The house shall command the blessing upon thee and thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thy hand unto. Right. In all, in all that thou settest thy hand unto. It's always going to go right, smoothly, on point. No frustration, zilch, <coughs> zero, nada, on point. We're going to be on so on point in the kingdom. Oh man, these heathens think they seen order. They think they seen the kingliness. They haven't seen that for real. Okay? That's why it says what well, unprecedented. Okay? It's hard to imagine. Okay? But it's gonna happen. Because <laughs> it's written. It's written into the fabric of reality. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We just waiting to live it out. Go ahead. And he shall bless thee. In the land which Yahweh thy power give thee, and Yahweh shall establish thee, and, and the holy people unto himself, as he has sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of Yahweh thy power, and walk in his ways. And all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of Yahweh. Break it down, brother. And they shall be afraid of thee. So everybody gonna know, like the brothers is going into, that the heavenly father is drawing near to us, you know, that we are his people. So we, you know, basically you want to have like an aura, right? right? An aura, like a you know, aura of perfection, like an aura of a god, Shining. right? Shining, a you know, sign, you know, a notoriety. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Take, you know, Jake walk into a room, everybody talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Looking at you down and shit. Yeah. You know, even from your own people. Yeah. yeah. That's why King David said, "Bless be the Lord that subdueth my people unto me mm -hmm. and under me." You know, but everywhere we go, everywhere there's an Israelite, even when an Israelite is born, blessed shall be the fruit of thy body. Oh. What was that movie uh, where, where it was like no children being born and the first children, children got born? Children, 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 yeah. Right. And then everybody yeah. like freaked out about yeah, it. Well, no, when the boy was born, the war stopped. Right. The yeah. war stopped. They heard a baby cry, bro. Right. Every time an Israelite child is born in the kingdom. The world going to stop. Come on, I'm going to stop. The world going to stop. Yeah. Another one, yay! Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, and you get a taste of that now. And we in our lowest estate. Israelite walking around, you, you know, a bunch of Edomites, or you know, everybody clean to you. You know, everybody mm -hmm. drawn to your energy. Right. And we in our lowest estate. So imagine when we made immortal, man. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right. It, it, come, sorry. Could you read that verse again? Oh, they, yeah. they shall know that the name, the last couple verses, uh, ten, and all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of Yahweh, and they shall be afraid of thee. Right? They shall see that thou art called by the name of Yahweh. So people are going to know the name of the Lord. Now people don't even know the name of Yahweh. Right. You know that. You know that's wow. You know. The the hey the, the scriptures say what the, the the God of gods, the Lord of lords, the Creator of the heaven and the earth. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. People don't even know Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Right. There's a very few people on earth that even know the name of the Lord, man. Their creator. Their creator who created everything. Everything. Wow. Who created them. They don't even know. Right. But in the kingdom, everybody's going to know. And they're going to know that, hey, those are the people of the Lord. That's right. They're going to see it. They gonna yeah. see it, see yeah. it and they're going to be afraid of it. Yeah. Those are the you know? Mm -hmm. And really, that's... that's 
you know, that's how fucked up this place has gotten. Because yep. that's not nothing to really marvel at. Mm -hmm. that, and that's what made me contract, man. Like, damn, bro. He had to learn the name of the Lord, bro. Yep. Our creator. You know? And that puts you in the mind, that humble and contrite spirit. Yep. Which ultimately opts you to seek him ten times more. You see? So, like I'm saying, that, that ain't nothing that like, oh, everybody gonna know his name. You should, you're supposed to. Mm -hmm. And the reason they don't is because of what we did. Yeah. You see? We were supposed to declare, hollow be thy name. It's supposed to be declared. Who's gonna declare it? Yeah. Children of yeah. Israel, the sons of the Most High. Yeah. Yeah. We fell away, so. Yeah. You know. He put his name on him. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So now people forget forget the, the reputation of the Father. But now it's being respoken right. as right. mm -hmm. Okay? And the Lord's gonna as the Lord's gonna force it to be established at his coming. That's why I could say what then, then shall the heathen know that I am the Lord. Then shall they know that I am the Lord. Then shall the heathen know that I am the Lord. Okay? Why? Because the Lord is going to come and establish that judgment, and all the nations going to reverence Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. The, the idols shall he utterly abolish, and then when the kingdom comes, oh man, come on. Israelites being blessed, everybody praising the Lord. Uh, okay, yeah. The nations shall flow unto him. The nations shall flow unto him. Yeah, and it's going to be beautiful. Because, hey, the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, it, it, it's a, it, hey, the fearful name of the Lord. People are going to fear the Lord. Yeah. Okay? All right? They're going to respect and have reverence for Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. No more calling upon idols. Okay? You know? Which we see idolatry every day, man. In ways that we don't even recognize. It's in the music. It's in the food. Yeah. It's in the way, it's in the way yeah. buildings are built. Yeah. It's yeah. Names, holidays, yeah. the days of the freaking week, man. Yup. It's in the airways, man. Yup. It's everywhere. Everything, man. The names of the months. Everything, yeah. man. You know, but that's going to be done away with, man. People ask you, yeah, how about Hashem Yahushua? Everybody won't say that. You know? Now you won't have to catch yourself when you almost mistakenly say it to somebody. Yeah. Everybody going to say Shalom and Habakakwadash and Khan. The water. The water. Yeah. Everybody going to be saying that. Yeah. 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 Babu Kasha. Everybody gonna be on the Shabbat. Everybody. You know, the, the new hop stops and shit. You know, right. <laughs> have to go to work and do Shabbat and do different things. Everything is gonna be on that righteous vibration of the Most High, man. It's gonna start with destruction. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west to the rising of the sun. But the miracles that the Lord is gonna do in these days, and He's gonna establish the kingdom with the justice and judgment that He's about to bring. And then everybody just gonna know what's up, man. Everybody gonna know what's up. It's Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. He's king of kings, you know, and then you're going to have the Israelites under him, man. That's you know? right. Hey, I got a quick one just to edify uh, about the name. It says, by Revelations 2 and 17, he that have an ear, let him hear uh, what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna and will give him a white stone and in the stone a new name written which no man knoweth, saving he that receiveth it. Okay? And that new there is kind of renewed, right. Right. refreshed. Which as, as the Lord did in Egypt, because people knew the name of the Lord before the Exodus. Right. Okay, what we call the Exodus. Abraham knew, Isaac knew, Jacob knew. Okay? All right, even uh, when Abraham sojourned in e Egypt, man, he was, he asked Abraham, pray to the Lord that he blessed me and take these plays off my house. Yeah, Salakia, I almost slept with your wife. Was yeah. fucking with that. You know what I'm saying? Even what I want to say is the Philistine king and Isaac and his wife. Uh -huh. Pray to the Lord for me, please. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? People knew about the Lord. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? All right? But his name got fame uh -huh. when he delivered Israel from Egypt and brought the ten plagues and all of that. That's right. Okay? So the Lord's gonna, name is going to be renewed and it's going to have fame. Okay? It's going to be declared throughout all the earth what the name of the Lord is, which his name is Yahweh, right. meaning he is... And his son's name is Yahweh Shai, which means he delivers. That's okay. Right. Proverbs 30, man. What yeah. is his name and what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. Okay. Even in the book, the Apocrypha it talks about Yahweh Shai, the name of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. In the book of Second Ezra. Okay. All right. Who got, who has a Bring out answer. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 45 in verse 14. It says, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Bashina Shai, says, The labor of Egypt and the merchandise of Ethiopia 
and of the Sabians, it's going to the Hamites, it says, Men of stature shall come over unto thee, and they shall be thine. They shall come after thee in chains. They shall come over. You know, because we don't have these other nations in, in slavery, man. The Bible pro prophesied that we don't have dominion over all these nations, man. Mm -hmm. All right? It says, uh, They shall fall down unto thee. They shall make supplications unto thee, saying, Surely Yahweh is in thee, mm -hmm. and there is none else. There is no power. So they're going to know surely that the Lord is in you. Because they gonna the ship say the forces of the we're gonna bring in the forces of the Gentiles continually, man. Alright, verse 15 says, Verily thou art in power that hideth thyself, O Yahweh of Israel, the Savior. Because these people, you know, they don't really well read the gospel is out, you know, they don't the Lord is hiding himself. Eventually he's gonna reveal himself when it's the son Yahweh shall return, man. And everybody's gonna know. You know? Verse 16, it says, They shall they shall be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. They shall go down to confusion together that are makers of idols. And, all, and the Lord said there's going to be a visitation on the idols. So he's name is going to be alone, exalted in that day. Verse, mm -hmm. verse 17 says, But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. So, so we're going to live forever. Isaiah 45. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Verse 18 says, For thus saith the Lord that created the heavens, Yahweh himself that formed the earth made it, and made it, have he hath established it, he created not in vain, he formed it to be inhabited. That's right. Yeah, that's why the new heaven, new earth, all right, because the earth is still going by. She say, uh he, yeah, the, the earth shall not well, the heaven and earth the earth shall not uh, the earth is going by forever. The Lord, the yeah, one generation, generation passes yeah, away right, right. and another generation right. cometh. Right. But the earth abides forever. That's right. right. That's, that's the earth is gonna always be here. So mm -hmm. the Christians say there's a new heaven, new earth, meaning uh, the whole earth is gonna be done away with. That's how they think. You know? Because they err not knowing the scriptures. Right. Yep. Isaiah forty five verse eighteen says, For thus saith the Lord that created the heavens. Yahweh himself that formed the earth and made it, he had established it, he created, so he created it not in vain, he formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, Yahweh, and there is none else. So, so that's what scripture said, we, we, we're going to be kings and priests, we're going to reign on earth. Mm -hmm. Verse 19 says, I have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth. I said not unto the seed of Jacob, seek ye, seek ye me in vain. I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. So we're not seeking the Lord in vain. But we have a reward for doing this work. Man. Mm -hmm. you know? That the last of salvation, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. immortality. Uh, I want to back that up. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 37, verse 25. The days of the life of man may be numbered, but the days of Israel are innumerable. Mm -hmm. Right. And right now we down, mm -hmm. you know, but the Lord going to set us up and we're going to really live forever. Immortal. Because if, if you got new bodies, you don't sin. If you got new bodies fashioned like unto Yahushua's glorious body, Yahushua ain't sinning. He sits on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father right now. So if our bodies going to be fashioned like his, we're not going to go off anymore. We're not going to sin, which means we're not going to die. We're not going to have to be judged by the Most High and the Lord send nations to siege, you know, Jerusalem again and shit. No, we're going to live forever, man. Right, which death is a, is a form of captivity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, the cycle of death, birth, death, and reincarnation. Why is that? Uh, why is that something that um, you know that uh, plagues us as sons of the Most High? All right, the scriptures say what the, the Lord created man to be immortal. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, but through envy of the devil, death entered. Okay, so again, death is, is a is a form of captivity because it's a it's a, it's an unbreakable cycle. Okay, all right. And it's unbreakable, uh, you know, according to the flesh, but through the spirit, yeah. all right, we have freedom, all right, and liberty from the law of sin and death through Yahweh Shai, man. Right. Okay, all right, and Yahweh Shai, and he overcame death, okay, all right, never to see corruption again, all right? Mm -hmm. Let's say what, um, you know, I, uh, thou shalt not suffer thy holy one to see corruption. Mm -hmm. and it talks about how Yahweh Shai was risen from the dead, okay? All right, and high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek, okay, who was it? Who was a son of God and abided a priest continually, okay? So Yahweh Shai, he lives forever, all right? I was dead and now I'm alive and I live forevermore. I have the keys of death and hell. That's, right. That's what it says in Revelation, the first chapter, 
No. So if Yahushai is, is living forever, if he's immortal, the immortal high priest after the order of Melchizedek, and we're joint heirs with him, that means we're going to be immortal. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. and, and we we understand what death is according to the scriptures, you know. But like I was saying last week, who, who, who wants to die? You know, and, and like Cap saying, that's a form of captivity, and really. It plays your mind, especially if you're not in these scriptures. Yep. Because that's a constant reminder. Like, especially being in the, the valley of the shadow of death. Every time you get in the car, you know, you, you flirt with death. That's mm -hmm. what that's what I work for uh coming up, brother, in that uh Deuteronomy twenty eight chapter was yeah. on point. You're gonna be blessed going out and blessed coming in. Right? Mm -hmm. Opposed to being cursed yeah. going out and cursed Curse coming, coming in. in. King Solomon, he he was like all this vanity of vexation of spirit. You could live your life and right. do things the right way, and then you go down to your sons and they yeah. end up being wicked. Right. Your whole you know, your whole shit, your legacy that you work for is fucked up. Tarnished. That's yeah. what death brings. And that's why we have a high priest after the order of uh, King Melchizedek, man. Not one good high priest and the next one he fucked up. No, yeah, man. Right, we have right. a high priest that abided forever in Yahushua who overcame death. Death is an enemy, man. That's if right. I could bring this out, this First Corinthians 15 yeah, right. and 24. Then cometh the end when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to the Most High, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and all power. Mm -hmm. For he must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Mm. You know? So death is about to be destroyed at Yahweh Shai's coming, man. He already destroyed death in himself. Mm -hmm. And the elect is going to not take part in the second death and never perish again. Mm -hmm. Live forevermore. That's why he said there'd be some standing here that shall never taste of death. death. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see, because he knew what he had to do and he was going to conquer death. You know? And of course, the 12 week is documented that, you know, how they died. Yep. But. You have to extrapolate, you know what I'm saying? And really that death is talking about the second death, mm -hmm. you see? And taste of death, because there's a vibration that comes with death. You know, and uh, like I say, a lot of those men died, but, you know, uh, like St like Stephen, mm -hmm. you know? He saw he saw the, uh, Yahweh shot standing on the right hand of the Most High. So imagine you about to die and you see that. Mm -hmm. What, oh death, where's thy sting? Mm -hmm. See? And especially in which is gonna be fulfilled in these times in the twinkling of an eye. Right. You know, when your shot does come and deliver up the kingdom of the of, of the most high to the most high. Mm -hmm. You know, after that there will literally be no more dying, you know, for, for amongst Israel. You know? Right. Because those men, the apostles, the, the saints are back here today, the elect are back here today to wake up to everlasting life, right. to immortality, man. Mm -hmm. You know? The Lord gonna beam us up, man. The Lord will be the elect. You know, and change us. And that, that, that's raw. No more death. No more funerals. No more crying and mourning and shit. No more dealing with that shit. No more having that on your, on your mind. Ain't going to be no more walking in the valley of the shadow of death no more. You know? And people, and people forget that the Heavenly Father promised that to Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. But they sinned. They went off. You see? So that was always a part of the plan. It just, <laughs> we went off, man. You know? But now we're being brought back. Hey. Why do you have our Shemiah shot? We're being brought back. We're being renewed. Okay? So that what? We can inherit all those blessings, man. Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 15. You see? Con, if I may um, bring this out. This is uh, Isaiah 60. Um, just going into the kingdom. And uh, verse 10. It says, And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and, the king, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. That's right. Okay, so the heathen nations, all right, they're going to build up our kingdom the same way we had to build their kingdom up, man. That's right. Okay, all right, hey, hey, we went into slavery under them and servitude under them. They're going into slavery under us and servitude under us, man. And that's the blessing of Jacob, man. Okay, the Lord blessed Jacob to have uh, the, his, his uh, mother's sons to be servants unto him, man. Okay, so it's all fair, man. Or even the law tells you uh, we can take heathens uh, as our slaves to work with rigor, man. Yeah. All right. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Okay. The saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever, man. That's right. And the kingdom and the greatness of the kingdom and the dominion of it shall be given unto the people of the saints of the Most High, man. 
all right? And they shall have all the glory thereof, man. The scriptures tell you about this, man. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, man. To execute upon them the judgment written, this honor have all his saints praise ye the Lord, man. Okay? Sons of them that afflicted thee shall come in and thee. Yep. Okay? Uh, this is um, verse 11. It says, Therefore thy gates shall be opened continually, and they shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, meaning what? Their resources. Okay? Our gates are going to be open continually. All right, bringing all the resources, the minerals, the goods of the earth from the heathens, they're going to be brought to us, man. They're going to be bringing substances, gold, silver, iron, brass, wood, precious stones, their, their, their children, okay? All right, their bodies to come and serve us, man, okay? Animals, okay? All different types of trees. Because yeah. a common vibration amongst men, whatever nation, when somebody's wise... We kind of cling to him. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. And we're going to be the wisest people ever. Mm -hmm. That's why the scriptures say, uh, 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 basically, uh, roughly paraphrasing, this should be your wisdom in right. the sight of the nations. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be on a level that you can't even fathom. That's right. And, and the scriptures also say that when the righteous bear rule, the people rejoice. Mm -hmm. And that's why gonna, the force of the Gentiles going to be coming in like that. Because yeah. it's like th these men are so honorable. You know, they're setting up the system. For everybody to rejoice and be happy. Why not? Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and also it's going to be by force. Yes. Oh, yes, yeah, of course. Yeah, you okay. know, right. the scriptures right. do say a lot of iron. Yep. All right. All right. <laughs> and that's just what it is. So they, again, years. they did it to us. We're going to do it to them. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. Be a process for them to, you know, to get to that level. They're going to have to be growing yeah. in yeah. order yeah. To, yeah. to dwell. Amongst our, amongst this utopian society that that's being set up, this perfect society, right. they got to be beaten with a rod of iron, right. get them idols out of them, right. get their ways <laughs> from from a thousand years, beat that shit out of them. Right, you know, right, just like you beat our Your culture out of us, yeah. our heritage out of us, yeah. we gonna beat sure. our culture into you. You're going to assimilate modern world, okay? And then they right. be so happy, <laughs> but they with they too broken out. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> because it's not going to take very long, you know what I'm saying? Right. It only took a few generations with us, man. Right. Honestly, when a nation you know takes down another nation, that one takes a, a what a generation, two, maybe three, four yeah. at the most, all right, to to really wipe away that that old bullshit. You right. know what I'm saying? And, and, and the heathen's not going to live forever. Right. It's going to come a, a certain point in the kingdom of heaven. Where the elect are the only people alive who knew what the former world was like. Exactly. Okay, right. because the heathen's gonna go into the kingdom, all right, they're gonna live their lives and die. They're mm -hmm. gonna have children, their children are gonna die, okay, and they're gonna come back in the reincarnation, not having the remembrance of the former world. Right, okay. All right, so it's gonna be and, and no more no more Mandarin, no more English, no more Spanish, no heathen. The how the last one with Dash, man. All right, because what's you say? What tongues they shall vanish away, man. That's right. Okay, the, la that the knowledge of the left hand side completely wiped out of the earth. The only one that's going to know it is the elect, man. That's okay, who know the both sides, man. All right, and of course, the Ahawashai. Okay, all right, all the the the, 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 the dominions of the earth, man. Hey, the, 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 the dominions even in the spirit world, man. The elect are going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai over the angels, man. Yeah. Okay? The chariots. You got, it's not going to be a, a, a strange, you know, I wouldn't say strange, but, a, you know, a rare sight to see a chariot. No, no, and it's, it's just, coming. you know, a, a, what we try to, is that, a, is that a star? Is it a plane? Is it a helicopter? Is it a drone? A lantern? Nope. The chariot going to be right. We're going to be in them. We're going to be in them, but they're going to just be following all, all over. Yeah. 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 That's what I'm yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the living creature went. Yeah. So the chair is going to be a, this going to be a common occurrence. Yeah. Over, yeah. The, over every other place, it's oh, going to be a defense. There shall be a defense. I tell you that in Isaiah the fourth chapter, man. Because hey, Israel going to be ruined. Right. We are the chariots of Israel. Right. They're the chariots of Israel. So the chariots is going to be, you know, everywhere. So called UFOs, man, and yep. different bright colors oh. silver, gold, ruby, sapphire, and the emerald, the, the stuff you. T Book of Revelations talk about <laughs> barrel and this yeah. movie carbuncle. It's gonna be a whole new world, man. <laughs> it's gonna be a whole new world, like you know, you know, when you was little, you you, you thought the future is gonna be flying cars. Yeah. No, we're really gonna have chariots in the kingdom, man. You know, 
Yeah. Or streets yeah. really really yeah. made of gold. This is yeah. real. Yeah. Yeah. Knows, just, just as everything that's going on right now is real and it was prophesied in these mm -hmm. Bibles to the to the T. Right. To the T. And what's happening with, with, with the current events going on, on the earth. Prophesied to the T. It's all leading up to this, man. That's right. Look, it said that we were going to captivity on slave ships. Right. It prophesied that it happened. It happened. So it prophesies all these other things as well. Yeah. That would prophesy slightly. Yeah. Yeah. That would prophesy about 3,000 years ago. Right. Yep. That we were going to slavery again. That we were coming to America by ship. No. And I'm it happens. Yeah. Stop, mm -hmm. stop cherry picking. <laughs> right. Hey, uh, going back to Isaiah 60 and uh, verse 11, it says, Therefore thy gates shall be open continually, and they shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. For the nation and the kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, they shall be utterly wasted. Mm. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine, and the box tree together. To beautify the place of my sanctuary, and I will make the place of my feet glorious. Okay? So Jerusalem, Israel, the land of Israel, and especially Jerusalem, is going to be decked out. Just like, just okay? like, just like how, uh, remember how uh, in the time of King Solomon, how it took it took all those years for the temple to be built, how he decked it out. Right. And Jerusalem will be decked out to the to the core of him. Right, which even the scriptures tell you in the days of King Solomon, right. Solomon made silver to be as the dust in yes. Jerusalem, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and as the stone. Mm -hmm. Okay? You read about King Solomon, his daily provision of meat and food, man. Yeah. Okay? All right. Hey man, was and Israel was Israel was good. Yeah, that was, that was a glimpse. Yeah, that was a glimpse. It, a makes, it makes sense why we we're gonna need a thousand years of slavery. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, y'all gotta get into this work, man. Yeah. You gotta make our yeah. our, yeah. Our, yeah. our our walking what we walk gold, yeah. man. Yeah. You think we gonna do that yeah. shit, bro? Right. We they gonna be having fun with women. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they still got a lot of building to do. You know, they gonna you know they gonna get get it beat into them, but they they we ain't gonna build it up. You know, they got building to do. Yep, right. yep, yep, yep. yep. Uh, verse uh, 14, if I may. It says, the sons also of them that afflicted thee. That The sons also of them that afflicted thee. Who's the number one afflictor? Esau, Esau. Esau. Amalek. Okay. And I can say this when you say, uh, can you go back up to the park? Where it say, uh, the, the nation that won't serve you? Uh, verse 12, it says, for the nation and the kingdom. That will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. Esau, eat them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Esau's through. Okay. Ooh. You're done. That's what utterly wasted. <laughs> wasted. Esau, eat them. Yeah. Wasted. wasted. Away is he. Right. His mountains and his heritage right. waste. Right. Those right. nations right. shall be wasted. Right. <laughs> Amalek. Yeah. Amalek. Yeah. Wasted. Yep. Yeah. Okay, it says, uh, going back to verse 14, it says, The sons also of them that afflicted thee, that afflicted thee, shall come bending unto thee. Mm -hmm. And they that despised thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. That's yeah. true blessing right there, bro. Right, which, uh, the word blessing, blessing means to bow down. To bow. Yeah. Okay, it says, And they shall call thee the city, New Jerusalem, of the Lord. That's right. The Zion, the monument of the Holy One of Israel. That's right. That's it. That's it. <laughs> whereas, whereas, whereas thou hast past tense been forsaken and hated so that no man went through thee. You go through Jake neighborhood. You don't see the, the heathen nations trying to check for that. They trying to avoid Jake as much as possible. Yeah. Right. Okay. It says, whereas thou hast <laughs> been forsaken and hated. So that no man went through thee, not even Jake like living in the hood. Right. Right? It says, I will make thee an eternal excellency, the a joy, a joy of many generations. It says eternal. <laughs> right. You can't yeah. quantify many either. Yeah. It's quantified. Right. right. Yep. Eternal excellency. We will we, we will excel over the nations yeah. eternally. Yeah. Right. You know? Man. This is what we're fighting for. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hey, this is a beautiful fight, man. Right. Hey, this is a great reward, all right? And that's why we, you know, through the spirit of power, how about Shemal Shai, we unrelenting. Yeah. No matter what we go through, we're we, we going to teach this word, man. Mm -hmm. We're going to prophesy. 
That's what we're looking forward to. Right. You crazy? What could tell from the Lord? Not, nothing. Nothing, man. Perils. Perils. No. Yes. Persecution. <laughs> no. Bless the Lord. Separate from the love of my child. That's right. right. Because we have faith that the things that we've been bringing out are going to happen. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. You got it, man. Uh, Romans 8.35, who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution? Read it again. Read it louder. Come, come. Mm -hmm. uh, Romans 8 and 35, uh, who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? For as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Right, and that's the, that's the fight, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. The thing is, you know, and that's the thing. And so, what scripture say what? Shall tribulation or distress? These are questions. Yeah, all right. right, who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach? Question mark. Mm -hmm. Shall tribulation or distress or anguish, persecutions, nakedness, peril, or the sword? Question mark. Mm -hmm. As it is written, we are sheep. Brought to the slaughter all day, all the day long. Mm -hmm. But nay, more more than conquerors through him that loved us. Okay, so what's what's the message being taught there? The message that's being taught there is that because Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai loves us so much, these different tribulations that we go through are not a sign that he does not love us. Mm -hmm. Okay, the fact that we overcome. Okay, these different distresses and tribulations and anguishes and endure them. That's the that's the real overcoming. Yeah. Okay, all right, not the prosperity doctrine shit. Right. Okay, you got motherfuckers in the church. Excuse my French, you know, because I'm known for going from Queens English to Miami. <laughs> 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 all right, in, in a split second. Okay, but hey, man, that that y'all got it twisted in the church, man. Okay, <laughs> all right. Y'all got it twisted in the church, man. All right, they'll bring out this precept. Oh, because the, the Lord wish you everything's supposed to go right, and you know things is supposed to go. Hell no. Right. Yeah, how wish I suffered in the flesh, man. He went through tribulation and anguish and distress and persecution and the nakedness. They stripped him naked and nailed him on the cross. And this is the Son of God who created everybody, man. Right. And the peril and the sword. They pierced him on his side. Blood and water gushed out, man. Six hours on it. Okay, six hours, man. Burdened with pain, man. Okay? But Yahweh Bashim Yahushua loves us so much. Raised him from the dead, man. So great a death. Okay? People marvel at the death so much. They think it's a legend. This is this is a legendary man. Right. How could a man like this walk the earth? Mm -hmm. That must be a fairy tale. Right. Okay, but when you endure the tribulations, the distresses, the ang the anguish, the persecutions, the peril, the nakedness, and the sword, man, your sorrows, your troubles, man, when you endure them, that's the overcoming, man. Mm -hmm. And you still maintain the faith, you are more than a conqueror through him that love this. Obviously, the Lord must have reservations on you. The right. spirit bear witness to you, the of the most high. Right, the Lord got reservations for a person who's enduring like that, man. Yeah. Right, because yeah. guess what? Most people in the world, they go through that and they forsake the Lord. That means what? The Lord is not with them. His spirit is not upon them to endure those sufferings, man. But the elect, they go through those tribulations, the anguish, the nakedness, the peril, the sword, the poverty, the affliction, the sorrow. And they still maintain Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai upon their lips. That means that the Lord loved that person and he has meanings to save them from their, from their troubles, man. When the Lord comes back and we're going to be changed, man. Right. And if the Lord is dealing with you, you understand all those things are chastening. Yeah. And yeah. you deserve all of those things. Mm -hmm. That's right. Everything that we go through, we deserve. Mm -hmm. But we understand that the scriptures say, hey, he that uh, the most high, uh, uh, how to roughly paraphrasing, yeah. does not chasten is a bastard. Mm -hmm. Right. You see? So when we go through those certain things, okay, the more the, the Lord is trying to make me that that, that fine goal. You know, uh, 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 how does it say? Uh, a man, uh, honorable man, acceptable man, 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 man in the furnace of affliction. Right. The that's the furnace of, of affliction. Yep. Yep. Right. Right. And that, that's the proving. Yeah. Okay. It's the refining and it's the proving. Okay, because remember, Yahweh Shai went through it, man. Okay, as the scriptures say, man, surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteemed him what smitten of the most high and afflicted, but he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed, man. That's right. 
Okay, so it was, it pleased the Lord to bruise him. That was proof and a sign of prophecy, man. Yep. Okay, so we, we, hey, we, we put ourselves in this position. We deserve it. Okay, but we endure it with faith. That's a, a sign that the Lord is dealing with that individual, dealing with us, man. Okay, and as long as we continue to endure and maintain the faith and continue to walk in the spirit, okay, and learn and grow and seek the Lord and be even more thirsty and hungry for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and all of his righteousness, that means that we have overcome. We are more than conquerors. Yeah. And Lord willing, we're part of the elect. Right. Okay, and we're going to inherit this great kingdom that we've been talking about. Right. That show, that show the, the author and finisher of, of your faith is dealing with you, man. Because mm -hmm. he went through all that, man. Yep, yep. Yeah, he went through all that, man. Um, Hebrews 12 and 1. Where it is real quick. And that's why the apostles was like, yeah, because they, they knew those prophecies. You know, reading uh, about him in Isaiah. You know what I'm saying? And the other prophecies in the scriptures. And then actually seeing it take place. And him resurrecting. Can you imagine their spirit? Yeah. Oh, we, we, whatever these Romans sent at us, we're going to conquer that shit. Yeah? Yeah. You see? That's why they stood firm unto death. Mm -hmm. Peter got crucified upside down, man. Yeah. You know? You got to go. Yeah, he can, but I was going to bring out um, Hebrews 12. Hebrews 12, one word, word for seeing we have... We also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness. Let us lay aside every weight in the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. So here it is, Yahweh Shai, uh, all right, endured all the hell that he went through so he could, you know, Sit on the right hand side of the most high, man, and that's how we ought to be, man. Uh, like the brother Lord was mentioning, man, the the, the us conquering, uh, us going, you know, going through the things that we we go through and overcoming. That shows that the Lord is dealing with us, man. Just how Yahweh shot and did all the tale that he went mm -hmm. through showed the most high was dealing with him, and look where he at right now. He's waiting so he can return, so he can establish the kingdom on the earth, man. Right. Okay. And we have to move with the same spirit because at the end of the day, if you don't, then how, how are you going to be able to live forever? How are you going to be able to sit there, especially on the first go around, man, right. have the nations bother you, man? Okay, you got to endure these things and, 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 and take up the cross and, you know, and, and follow your shot, man, in our truth and sincerity, right. man. Right, right. And know, and know why you're enduring it. Yeah, That's why that's Paul's what... writing this exhortation, man. Okay, because a, a the church at Rome, they were under heavy persecution, man. All right, this is... You know, that he, the church that he was writing to, they were under heavy persecution, man. Okay, you read in the book of Acts how they were being expelled from Rome. All right, the Jews were being expelled. Why? Because Jake was raising hell over Yahweh Shai, man. The controversy between the circumcision who uh, who believed in Yahweh Shai and even the uncircumcision, the, the Gentiles who believed in Yahweh Shai versus those who didn't. Whether they, were, whether, whether they was Israelites or whether it was heathens calling Caesar out, man. Hey, Yahweh is our king, man. He's the king of kings, the Lord of lords. This city, Rome, hey, Daniel, the fourth chapter, the fourth beast shall be burnt, and Yahweh Shai going to overtake the fourth beast and establish his kingdom. The Romans did not like that, man. That's why they was getting persecuted, so Paul had to write that letter, man. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. that's why he even had, in Romans, the first chapter, he even had to tell them, look, the reason why I'm not, I didn't come yet, it's not because I'm scared or I, I don't fuck with y'all. It's just, I, I'm dealing with other stuff, but I'm, I'm on my way, though. Because I heard about y'all brothers, y'all brothers, y'all y'all faith, hey, it's been known throughout the world, yeah, man. Right. Okay, y'all on fire, so I'm trying to go check y'all out. It's just, it's just a lot going on with me right now. I'm coming to see you. That's why I'm writing this letter to you, because y'all had questions. Y'all wanted to see me. I'm trying to see you too, shit. Right. You know? And that's why the brother uh, did that beautiful, you know, short lesson right. about counting the cost. Because guess what? You're doing the same exact thing, and it's causing a ruckus. But it's being held under the wraps, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because Esau don't want this thing to explode bigger than it already has, you know? So just like back in Rome, they were being persecuted, they're coming after us again, mm -hmm. you know? So you got to count the cost. You got to understand what you're a part of. But like we, we, we were just reading all those persecutions and, you know, uh, uh, like the brother brought out in Romans 8, none of that ain't going to deter us, man. Okay. Because the Lord's elect is going to endure it. Because the Lord has care for his elect. There you go. He's going to be with his elect. He ain't going to lose not one. Not one, not one of them shall perish, you know. And you got to keep that faith. And that that would be of Yahweh Bashami Shai. Understanding that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us, man. Because sure, sure. the Lord loves us. 
not not things that's about to come, the things that's present, it's not going to separate us from the love that the Lord has for Israel, man. Has for beginning with his elect. Because I got this in Luke chapter 12, verse 32. Being cast right. into prison 10 days, living forever. There you mm -hmm. go. The king, no, you know, it's not comparable. It's right, 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 right. Luke twelve and thirty two. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. It's it's a, it's the Most High's pleasure. It's His will to give us the kingdom, man. You know, we're His sons, right? Don't you want your son to have the, you know, the best. especially if he's being obedient mm -hmm. to the best of his ability? Don't right. you want the best for him? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? What well, that what you just read? Luke 12 and 32. So it's your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. You're not. Come on, come on. Get second as uh, you know where I'm asking for. So you know, second as you, you know it's you know where it's at. <laughs> bring it, bring it oh, two? Yeah. <laughs> this is the book of Romans chapter 9. The, the, the glory is the kingdom of heaven. It's for us, Israel. Romans chapter 9 and verse 1, it says, I say the truth in Hamashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I wish I sorry, for I could wish that myself were a curse from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh, who are Israelites. So this is the Apostle Paul, man, telling that the, the, the promises is for his kinsmen according to the flesh who are Israelites, which is us, man. It says, who are Israelites to whom pertained the adoption? And adoption goes into our Lord Yahweh Shah, you know, adopting us back to the Lord, man. He's the Prince of Peace. All right, it says, the glory, and the glory is the kingdom, and the covenants, the, the old covenant, new covenants for us, man. And the giving of the law, and the service of the Most High, and the promises. And these, we, we going into the promises that the Lord given our people, man. All right, it says, whose who's are the fathers, and of whom as concerning the flesh, yeah, Hamashiach came was Yahweh Shai, who is over all. This is about Yahweh blessed forever, Amon. So this is for Israel, man. Mm -hmm. you know? That's right. You know, hey. promise to our forefathers, right. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. <clears throat> in Second Ezra chapter two, verse thirteen, go and you shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you, that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. Yep. So the Lord tells us in Revelation 16 to keep your garments and watch, man. Keep mm -hmm. keep on pushing in this faith. Keep looking forward to the kingdom coming. You know, keep your how why you shout on, on, on your mind. You know, you know, the destruction that's about to happen, keep prophesying and keep looking forward to it happening. Because the kingdom is already prepared. It is going to happen. Yahweh right. is going to come and beam up the elect of Israel, man. Right. You know, gonna all be adorned in white. The 144,000, 12,000 from each tribe with the great multitude, mostly men, women, and children from Israel, man. Right. You know, it is already prepared. The Lord is going to do it. Just keep on, so, so that we get receive it on the first go, just keep on going. And pray to Yahweh Shemiah Oshai and believe that he is going to keep us going. That's that's really the mindset to have. The Lord is going to keep us. That's right. the mindset King David had, man. Yep. You know, for his righteousness sake, for his name's sake, you know, for his mercy's sake, right. you know. This is the book of uh, Matthew 25, verse 34. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Ooh. So the mm -hmm. kingdom has been prepared for us since the foundation of the world. world. You know? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that's scriptural, so why wouldn't you believe that? Mm -hmm. So that... that <laughs> That makes you more straight line. Like, it's already there. Yep. It ain't like, okay, well, you know, once the end comes, then we got to sit around and wait, which would be okay, too. But no, it's already there, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. John 14, bro. Right. John 14. Many um, mansions. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. He go to, the, yeah, I was going to say, I'm going to prepare a place for you, man. Mm -hmm. If it were not so, I would not have told you, bro. You know? Mm -hmm. yeah, so I, yeah, I got a quick scripture uh, remark, what you were saying. This First Corinthians uh, chapter 15, verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord, for you was going to watch, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's, we, we have to continue to watch, you know, and abound in the work. Continue to do the work of Yah Bashim Al Shah. Right. And if, Salak, and if you're watching, you're gonna do that. Yeah. You see what's going like you always say in the Levant? Yeah. 
watching what's going on in the Middle East, that's going to make you hasten to come another Lord, man. Right. And do the things that you need to do that are conducive to salvation. Because right. this shit is real, man. If you're watching and seeking the most high and having faith in him, that is from him. Right. You know, there because you he wants yeah. to give us the kingdom. Yeah. That's why Israel, you know, the whole four elect are standing upon our feet right now because the Lord is getting ready to give us the kingdom. That's right. You know, yeah. that's why we're seeing Esau crumble, World, World War Three being amped up right before our eyes. All type of prophecies. Hey, it's, hey, it's, so, it's so many freaking uh, uh, articles out right now, yeah. you know, on different shit that's going on on the planet Earth with Esau, you know, yeah. and with... You know the you know the Omarion variant. Right. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. These things are happening because the the Lord is he's he's hastening, as it says in Isaiah chapter sixty. He's he gonna hasten in his time to give us the kingdom, man. Right, right, right. You know? Hey, uh, Isaiah nine. It says what? Um, go ahead, bro. Bring bring it's Isaiah nine. Oh yeah. The book of Isaiah chapter nine, and um, verse five. I'll start at verse five. It says um. It says, uh, for every battle of the warriors will confuse noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel fire, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty Power, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it. With judgment and with just, just justice, from henceforth, even forever, the zeal of the Lord Yahweh of hosts will perform this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Calm. Hey, the zeal of the Lord will perform this, man. So the Lord is a zealous. Yep. All right. Okay. He's very, very, very intent about bringing his kingdom upon the earth. Okay. That's why I could say what? Uh, he's going to make the time short. Yep. Okay. All right. How he's going to hasten the time. Shout out the most high. Avenge his own elect which cry day and night unto them, unto him, though he suffer long with them. Okay. Pray for a few days. Pray for a few days unto you. Right. You know? Hey, the Lord's coming back, man. Yahushai is coming back. That's right. Okay. This is not a game. This ain't no joke, man. Alright, this is the this is the real deal holy, holy yeah. field. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Emphas no in, in, emphasis on <laughs> emphasis on holy. Yeah, yeah. Holy. Okay. Yeah. No cap. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I mean, Plaza. Ah, so you gotta play something out? No, I'm on some stuff. Y'all go ahead. Okay. Well, I got something back you up, Shamar. Since you were talking about the government, it's uh, Ecclesiastes chapter ten, verse one. A wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. I'm gonna jump down to verse four. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. Yahweh mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and the men under him, King David, on down the elect. All right, because right. we're gonna be heirs with Yahweh, joint heirs with the Mashiach Yahweh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And when Yahweh reign on the earth, the earth is going to be like Eden again, but even better. Right, you know, it's not going to be polluted. Yahweh ain't having that. He ain't even going to be no more war. The nation shall not learn not war anymore. That's in Isaiah chapter 2. You know? All right, and in the book of Ezekiel, it talks about how the, the land that was desolate shall be as the Garden of Eden. All right, which the whole earth is meant to be Eden. Right. All right, but the earth, the earth has been devastated many times by the Lord for it, uh, for the wickedness of the inhabitants thereof, man. Okay, all right, where there have been the flood, all right, even before then, the Lord cursed the uh, the uh, the ground. Okay, all right, he he, uh, he put uh, judgment on Adam and Eve. All right, so that the earth brought forth briar and thorns, and they had to work with the sweat of their brows and stuff like that. You know, and and many different plagues have happened upon the earth and upon the empires of the earth. All right, Babylon, Egypt. Uh, Persia, Greece, and, and Rome, and all of that. Okay, now we're in, in this modern era. The earth is polluted with wickedness and violence. Okay, the Lord, the, the Lord is bringing earthquakes, famines, droughts, fires, man. Okay, and this pollution everywhere. Hey, the, 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 the earth needs to be renewed. Okay, it needs to be renewed. All right, no more pollution, man. All right, whether it be moral pollution or actual the pollution of the substances of the earth, man, that's going to be done away with man and the earth is going to flourish as it is meant to be right, right. okay and you don't have to worry about earthquakes and or, or fucking 
hurricanes and shit coming through our dwellings. No, man. No, that's those are judgments. You know, from the most high. You know? No, nah, man. The Lord is going the earth is going to, to spring forth all its goods, resources, you know? The the, the hey, Isaiah Salaki, Isaiah chapter eleven, the wolf is gonna feed with the lamb, man. Yep. You know? Eat hay, eat grass. Yep, yep. Let me out real quick. Joel chapter three, uh, verse. Um, I'm gonna start at sixteen. The Lord, the Lord Yahweh also shall roar out of Zion and utter His voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shake. But the Lord Yahweh will, will be the hope of His people and the strength of the children of Israel. So shall ye know that I am the Lord Yahweh, your power dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then shall Jerusalem be holy. And there shall be uh, shall no stranger pass through her anymore, and it shall come to pass that in that day, and it shall come to pass in that day that the mountains shall drop down new wine, and the hills shall flow with milk, and all the rivers of Judah shall flow with waters, and the fountain and a fountain shall come forth of the house of the Lord Yahweh, and shall water the valley of Shittim. So the Lord is going to be as Eden again, man. Just to back up the brothers, man. That's all right. right. After all, after America get destroyed, after we get set up, Yahweh uh, uh, you know, gains his glory, man. Everything's gonna go back to how it's supposed to be, man. Beauty and and, and, and riches coming from all four corners of the earth again, man. That's right. Because under this devil, man, everything has been uh, pillaged to the point where the where the earth is is fucking struggling, man. Right. All right. This nigga don't even uh, uh, adhere to the last Sabbath, bro. So the earth is really struggling right now, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, it's, it's the book of Second Ezra, chapter seven, verse forty-three. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time, in which you got death and pollution, oil rigs bursting in the in the ocean and shit. Right. You know, ped pedophilia, uh, ring, rape rings all over the earth, man. Human trafficking, all this different shit. Deforestation, yeah. right? Deforestation. Yeah. Okay, at fucking for, forever chemicals in the water. The pH of the ocean. Of the how do you, how do you throw it off the pH of the entire fucking ocean? It's off. Yeah, so that's why that's why it's always that's why it's always red tide popping up in there. Yeah, man. Allergies and shit. Yeah. That's why the ocean smell like how it smell, man. It smells stink. Right, man. Because it's trying to overcompensate for for all the pollution that's been in the earth. Okay, yeah. which is Esau Edom's fault. Yes, it's your fault, Mister Plastic. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Mister Plastic. And taking all the, 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 the creatures that are meant to clean up the ocean right, right. and making it a delicacy. Right. And you niggas just hook, line, and sinker. Right. Right. And you heathens, too. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Dumping uh, nuclear waste in the ocean, man. Like Exploding sure. bombs underwater, man. Right. Okay. That's going to be done away with. Animals going extinct, man. And over hunting and shit like that, man. Right. Okay. That needs to, that's go, that needs to stop and it's, go, it's going to stop. That's right. That's right. Okay. So it says. But the day of doom, the destruction that we talking about, which is so warrant, not only is warranted, is needed. Right. The day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of the immortality for to come. Where in, in corruption, well, Salakia, where in corruption is past, intemperance is at an end, infidelity is cut off, righteousness is grown, and truth is sprung up, man. That's the time that's coming. Immortality. Yahweh Shah is going to be reigning with the Israelites, man. You know, and truth is going to spring up. Ain't going to be no more lies spread on the earth. You, the people who rule on the earth right now spread all type of lies. They try to change history, to, you know, for their sake. That's not going to be a thing anymore, man. You know, the the, the, the former things are going to pass away, man. You know, a, a new heavens, a new earth where in dwell of righteousness, man. <laughs> man, good plane. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Anybody else? That precept? I got it. You can't bring those out? No, you can go down. Okay. Right, come. This book of Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 10, it says, And I will multiply men upon you, all the house of Israel, even all of it, and the city shall be inhabited, and the wastes shall be built. Because they got they gonna have to build up that land of Israel, man. Because they well, they're gonna yeah, they gonna build up that land of Israel. All right, and then different parts of the earth because why? Those missiles, when those missiles hit, like the brothers going into the land mass is gonna be, uh, uh, the, the continent's gonna be sh sh shaky. Right? Right. It's gonna be, it's right. gonna be made new. Right, know? and hey, our land needs to be cleansed, man. Right. Right. You got right. the, the dome on the rock, what, the, what you call right. it? Dome of the rock? Right. Whatever. Okay, basically the, the giant golden nipple 
Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because really that's what it is, man. When you really go into the the symbology of how Ishmael and and, um, and Amalek and these different heathens built their temples, are right, it's a, it really a lot of the, the even the shape of the temples and the domes and stuff. It, it represents uh, the breast of a woman, okay, the womb of a woman. Sometimes a uh, uh, vagina symbolism, okay, phallus symbolism, man. Okay, going all, all the way back to that ancient Babylonian, Sumerian, Egyptian fucking sex magic, man. Okay, okay? that fucking be about all worship shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then got the nerve to do that on the Holy Land. And, and, and death, yeah. death and pink, destruction. Pink, death, pink city and shit. That's right. Yeah. Pink city, all that bullshit. Yeah, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel 36 and verse 10 says, And I will multiply men upon you, all the house of Israel, even all of it. And the city shall be inhabited, and the wastes shall be builded. Verse eleven it says, "And I will multiply you, so like, and I will multiply you men and beasts, and they shall increase and, and bring fruit. And I will sell you after the old, after your old estates, and will do better unto you than that. At, so then at your beginning, then at your beginning, right? Mm -hmm. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. How about Shema So we would say he, the, 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 how he was in." Um, uh, those those was it forty years of peace with King Solomon? We gonna be better than that, man. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. Where a doorman was mistaken for King Solomon, so a man. All right. <laughs> he was happy as hell. She uh, they was, they was wooed up like, whoa, bro, he be a doorman, crump to just be a doorman. Right? Right. Thought he was a king. Thought he was the Thought king. He was the king. <laughs> 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 Shit. Yep. So how much more in, in the kingdom with new bodies, man? Come on. More wow. immortals. Okay. This, uh, Isaiah, True power. Yeah. 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 Isaiah forty nine and eight. Thus saith Yahweh, and in an acceptable time have I heard thee, and in a day of salvation have I helped thee, and I will preserve thee and give thee for a covenant of the people, to establish the earth, to cause to inherit the desolate heritages, that thou mayest say to the prisoners, Go forth. To them that are in darkness, show yourselves. They shall feed in the ways, and their pastures shall be in all high places. They shall not hunger nor thirst, neither shall the heat, nor sun smite them. For he that have mercy on them shall lead them. Even by the springs of water shall he guide them. All right, so when the Lord uh, delivers us and uh, brings us back to our land, we, uh, we're going to inherit the desolate pl uh, places like y'all going to. Even uh, the land of Israel has to be cleansed. Okay, you're going to have uh, destruction going on different parts of the earth. We're going to, because, uh, you know, uh, for the first thousand years, the, the, the heathen, they're going to be doing what we tell them to do, you know? It, it's not going to be until after that they could go into their own lands and, and whatnot. But we, we're going we're gonna to have the holy land. You're going to have different birds having this this land, that land, and this house over there, house over there. And it's going to be a total different life. All right? It's, 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 gonna be, it's not going to be totally different from this life that we're living right now. We're going to have super, you know, what the scripture say, uh, we, we're going we're gonna to have extraterrestrial bodies. Okay? Neither celestial nor uh, terrestrial. Mm -hmm. We're going to be extraterrestrial. All right? So it's, it's, we're going to have like a, a we're going to do, you know, Human things, but it's, it's the certain elements and then the earth is not going to affect us like like how mortal wood. No, it's not it, it won't. <laughs> it, we're gonna we're gonna be above it, right? right. Okay, it's gonna be subject unto us. Go ahead, bro. So you know, you ain't, you ain't, the sun ain't gonna be able to. You know, you ain't gonna. Damn, it's hot. Nah, <laughs> ain't gonna be no damn. It's cold. Right. You know? right. Never thirsty. You know, it's yeah. just gonna be enjoyable. Everything's just gonna be enjoyable. Yeah. Go down into the sea and, and right. explore. You ain't gotta come up for breath every freaking yeah, like, couple seconds. <laughs> no. Like that motherfucking uh, Aquaman movie, bro. Right. 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 Just yeah. down there vibing. Right. Who knows, man? Who knows? Hey, what, what it's gonna look like, man? But we're gonna have dominion over the elements. Right. right. Okay. Not subject to the to the to the different elements that can harm us. Right. Okay. I uh, got another uh, precept. Is uh, Sirach chapter uh, forty three and verse. 29, the Lord is terrible and very great and marvelous and is his power. When you glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as you can, for even yet will we far exceed. Mm -hmm. And when you exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary, for you can never go far enough. 
who have seen him that he might tell us and who can magnify him as he is there are yet here greater things than these be for we have seen but a few of his works so we, we that's the scripture say uh, uh, no, nobody ever saw nobody ever heard mm -hmm. nobody's entered into the, the heart of man or what the heavenly father has for him that wait, wait on him that, that what we what we even the little you know you can, even what we see on TV because we ain't you know Jay we we ain't never really been over like that you know most of us but even you know looking at these certain things on, on, on you know the different history channels and things of that nature it's, it's many things about this earth that even he saw don't know about right. many things about you know the, the heavens the universe the we only seen but a few of his works you know the, the oceans. Right. When we went on that cruise, like, seeing all that was, ain't no way Esau explored. Yep. Uh, what, even what he say he explored, what he say, like, uh, 2%. 2 right. He ain't even explored 2% of it. Shut mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Back you up. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. right. No, no. Hey, hey, come on, now. Yeah, you right. It's too bad. It's not like that. Yeah. It's too fucking liar, dude. Right. It's too huge. Right. 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 You know? It's 1 Corinthians 13, verse 9. But we know in part, and we prophesy in part. So this thing's about the kingdom. We just got to wait till it happens, man. Yeah. To, you know, to see. You know, yeah. as, yeah. as we <laughs> quoted earlier. We know not what we shall be, right, you know, right. but when he appear, we're going to be like him. So, for we know in part and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is come, when how it shall come, you know, then that which in part shall be done away, you know. When I was a child, I spake as a child, I stood as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face, now I know in part, but then shall I know, even as also I am known. Mm -hmm. So we gonna know, because the Lord knows the numbers of the, the hairs on our head, of all the hairs on our head, man. Mm -hmm. We gonna know, the Lord gonna give us knowledge, man, because he's making us little versions of him. Right, 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 right. 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 And those, those questions in the book of Job, the Lord was asking Job, man. We gonna know the answers to those Ezra. questions. Yeah. 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 Yep. yep, we gonna know the answer. We gonna know what's out there in the universe, man. We gonna give us the keys to the universe, man. Right. Planets and different things. But this is never little. What are, you know? We gonna know all of that, man. Right. And how it all work, and how that all works together. Yep. You know, right? Because right. hey, it's it, what uh, it's a cosmos. All right, mm -hmm. an orderly array, an orderly and apt harmonious right. arrangement, mm -hmm. a government. Yep. Okay, the universe is in order, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, Esau likes to teach it, uh, K, K, catastrophism and all this other shit. Mm -hmm. uh, fuck that shit, man. Mm -hmm. Big bang shit. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Nah, nigga. <laughs> Stars exploding and dying in uh, one million trillion years. The sun is gonna <laughs> expand and right. swallow the rest of the solar system. Blah, blah, blah. He said that shit, you know, said that shit proudly, right. too. Right. Like, yeah. like, he actually can give empirical data on it. You right. can't. Yeah. You're just saying that shit. Right. right. And the surface of the sun is this many million trillion degrees. Yeah. You haven't yeah. been, nigga. Right. Shut up, shut up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay? You don't know that. You don't know the you can't you can't measure the foundations of the earth. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. It says Jeremiah yeah. 31. Right. You don't even know that the sun revolves around the earth, right? Right. right. How, how, how do bones grow in the womb? Right. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 But they put a flag right. on the man Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Bullshit, man. Like slide to the easy, but he don't know what happened in the dark ages. Right. 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 Right of wisdom, man, like like a, just a river, you know, like like just a you know a, a metaphysical just influence and essence just flowing down from Yahweh Bashimel Shai upon every Israelite, yeah, a continual stream of knowledge and wisdom and mm -hmm. understanding, just yeah. on point, man. Okay, the kingdom. That's why it's called the marriage mm -hmm. of the Lamb. It, 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 could you imagine that? And if I may say, if I may say, okay, just. Always knowing when the Sabbath coming. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. point. You ain't gotta use the weather app. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. You just gonna just know right. that all right, here it comes. Yeah. Bing. Yeah. Sabbath time. The holy day, the high holy days. The high holy days. You know what I'm saying? Just being too in tune with 
with the the, the, the the ordinances of heaven and earth that the Most High created for us. We ain't gonna have to go out and see and look. Now, granted, we might have watchmen to do that for the average people. You know what I'm saying? The heathens, okay? But just being in tune like that with, with the high holy days and just the ways of the Lord in, in period in general, man. Just knowing, okay, that's clean, that's unclean. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is what this element is. That's what that element is. Yep. You know what I'm saying this is what the purpose of this. This is the spiritual understanding and the aspect of, you know, the the the, the hyssop. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying purpose. And you're gonna feel the Lord's love in every fiber yeah. of you at every second of the day. Never right. doubt. Never like uh, low or base. Right. No, never no, feel always down. abounding. Yeah. Right. Always. Never being depressed. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. No more nigga woman problems. Right. Oh man. Right. Yeah. Then we open up with the revelation of he shall wipe away all oh, tears. Oh, so we ain't gonna have to, ain't gonna be no those sad Israelite no more, bro. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I guess I'm probably shot. <clears throat> Going in on uh, New Jerusalem. Uh, it's uh, Tobit chapter 13 and verse 15. It says, Let my soul bless Yahweh, by Hashem God, the great king. For Jerusalem shall be built up with sapphires and emeralds and precious stones. Thy walls and towers and battlements with pure gold. So this is how the kingdom of heaven is gonna be, man. This is how we gonna dwell, man. It's gonna be more than that. It's more than that, you know. It's gonna be the Lord because we are gonna have different planets. All right, the Lord gonna show us different elements, you know, different how how He made different things. So, but this is how Jerusalem gonna be. It says, "For Jerusalem shall be built up with sapphires and emeralds and precious stones. Thy walls and towers and battlements with with pure gold." Mm -hmm. And the streets of Jerusalem shall be paved with beryl and carbuffle and stones of Ophir. Verse 18 says, And all her streets shall say, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, and they shall praise him, saying, Blessed be Yahweh, which, like, which hath extolled it forever. So all our people are going to be uh, praising the Lord, man. You're not going to have all, uh, like, some of our people, you know, like, they worship uh, idols, you know, praise Cesare and they preach. Buddha and Allah. Now we all gonna worship Yahweh by Shema Shah. That's right. That's right. All right. the whole world gonna worship, worship him, man. Yes, and they're gonna reverence him, you know? That's right. That's right. That's what that's what, that's, that's what we're waiting for, man. Mm -hmm. That's the fight. Yep. That's 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 why we do what we do. Right. Right? The spirit power Yahweh by Shem Shah. Okay? You know, we're gonna be living forever. The Lord's gonna show out forever for us. Okay? Like that's something we fighting for. And that's why we push this word out continually, and we in the trenches right now, all right, to show our faith. That's it. That's where we go. All right. Hey, so, with, hey, any precepts you got? Anybody? Con, so with that, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukakudash. And double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and salutations to the elect. Hey, Kwame Asherah, Kwame Asherah, Abba Babal, Abba Babal, Shalom.